chapter 5 pronouns learning time words we use in place of nouns are called pronouns sachin tendulkar is a cricket he is famous worldwide all the people like him he him sachin tendulkar he and him are pronouns we use pronoun in order to restrict the repetition of nouns in a sentence there are six types of pronouns types of pronouns personal possessive reflexive relative demonstrative interrogative a personal pronouns pronouns that stand for one person or thing are called personal pronouns example i we you he she it they her him us let's learn my our your his her it's and there are strictly speaking possessive adjectives his and her can be used as a pronoun the pen of his i want to meet her persons singular plural first person the person speaking i me myself we ours ourselves ourselves us second person the person spoken to you yourself you yours yourselves third person the person spoken about he she her it him himself herself itself they them themselves practice time one fill in the blanks with personal pronouns a all of us left the school at 6 pm b they are not accepting your mistake c her dress is looking pretty d they are watching movie e I am going with him. F. Rohit and her sister were reading. T. Complete with personal pronoun. A. My name is Adam. I am an Indian. B. My friend's name is Angelina. She will come tomorrow. C. Mr. Sain is my dad. He is a professor. D. On the right you can see Lena. She is my neighbor. E. Sumit is a smart boy. He sings sweetly. 3. Write the personal pronoun in the following sentences in proper column. A. Will you show us your gift? B. He does not care for what you say to him. C. The old man thanks her front of me. D. You don't worry. I will do it myself. E. These toys are ours, neither hers nor yours. First person, second person, third person. A. First person, us. Second person, you, your. B. Second person, you. Third person, he, him. C. First person, me. Third person, her. D. First person, I, myself. Second person, you. E. First person, ours. Second person, yours. Third person, hers. Learning time. B. Possessive pronouns. Pronouns used to show ownership or possession are called possessive pronouns. Mine, ours, his, her, yours and theirs are possessive pronouns. Examples. 1. The bat is mine and the ball is yours. 2. The book is hers but the pan is theirs. Let me answer. A. How many toys do you have? B. Do you show your birthday gifts to everyone? Teacher's note. Motivate students to learn about pronouns with the help of the mentioned illustrative examples. Explain the concept of first, second and third person to the students. Practice time. 4. Underline the possessive pronouns in the following sentences. A. This bike is his. Underline his. B. The pink dress is hers. Underline hers. C. Those pens are mine. Underline mine. D. The boxes are theirs. Underline theirs. E. Those glasses are yours. Underline yours. F. This idea is ours. Underline ours. 5. Complete the table. Possessive pronouns. Singular. Plural. First person. Mine. Ours. Second person. You. Yours. Third person, his, hers, theirs. Learning time. C. Reflexive pronoun. When the subject in a sentence is the receiver of an action, we use reflexive pronoun. 
To replace the subject, we add self to personal pronoun to make reflexive pronouns. Examples: One, I completed my project myself. Two, Deepa looked herself in the mirror. Reflexive pronouns: First person, myself, ourselves. Second person, yourself, yourselves. Third person, himself, herself, itself, themselves. Practice time. Six. Fill in the blanks with the reflexive pronoun given in the box. A. A baby can't take care of itself. B. You can solve your problem yourself. C. The workers finish their tasks themselves. D. Nisha wrote the letter herself. E. Anu could not solve the sum himself. Learning time. D. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are used to refer a noun used earlier in the sentence. Example: The boy who is wearing a yellow cap is my brother. The old man whom I met is an engineer. Who, whom, and whose are used to talk about people. We use that to talk about people, animals, or things. We use wish to talk about animals and things only. Practice time. Seven. Choose the correct relative pronouns from the brackets to complete the sentences. A. The woman whom you met yesterday was my mother. B. The lady whose umbrella was stolen was looking sad. C. Please return the pen which I gave you. D. The role model whom I admire most is Mother Teresa. E. The girl whose sister is a minister is my friend. F. The man who came for the interview today has been selected. Learning time. E. Demonstrative pronouns. Pronouns which are used to point out the object for which they are used are called demonstrative pronouns. A. This is a ball. Two. These are balls. Three. That is an orange. Four. Those are oranges. In the above sentence, the word this, that, these, and those are used as pronouns. In sentence one, this stands for a ball. In sentence two, these stands for balls. In sentence three, that stands for an orange, and in sentence four, those stand for oranges. As these pronouns are used to point out the object or objects they refer to, they are called demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns and demonstrative adjectives. Read the following two sentences. One, this is a bird. Two, this bird is a pigeon. In sentence one, this stands for the noun bird, so this is a demonstrative pronoun. In sentence two, this quality the noun bird, so this is a demonstrative adjective. Now read the following sentences. One. These are apples. Two. These apples are sweet. In sentence one, this is a demonstrative pronoun. In sentence two, this is a demonstrative adjective. Practice time. Eight. Choose the suitable demonstrative pronoun to complete the sentences. A. This is the real reason for their disagreement. B. These are the staff quarters. C. Whose house is this? D. This is the book he bought in Chennai yesterday. E. These are the mangoes I want to buy. Learning time. F. Interrogative pronouns. Pronouns like who, whom, whose, which, and what used in asking question are called interrogative pronouns. Examples: One. Which is your school? Two. Whose pen is this? Three. Whom did you meet? Four. What was that noise? Five. Who will introduce the dancers? Practice time. Nine. Complete the sentences with suitable interrogative pronouns. A. Who plays the flute? B. Which is your favorite subject? C. Who will bring the car you want? D. Which is your bag? E. Whose bag is this? F. What will you do if nobody comes with you? G. Whom did you meet yesterday? Ten. Read the following sentences and write the pronouns in proper column. A. We will go to picnic by our car. B. They hid themselves behind a wall. C. This is her house. D. Those are your toys, which are ours. E. What was the reason to call him? F. 
The girl who is wearing a blue dress is my sister. Personal pronoun A V B Personal pronoun they reflexive pronoun themselves. C demonstrative pronoun this. D possessive pronoun ours. E personal pronoun him. Interrogative pronoun what? F relative pronoun who? Fun with grammar. Instruct the student to read the given sentences. Bob put dry food in Bob's dog's food dish and then the dog gobbled Bob's dog's food. Ask student why these sentences seem awkward. Elect their suggestion for improving them. Use a student's suggestion or provide an edited version of the sentences. Depending on the brainstorming results, you might suggest Bob put dry food in his dog's food dish and then the dog gobbled its food. Explain that you will be studying two types of pronouns in this lesson, subject pronouns and object pronouns.